is the department stores, a lot of them stay open till 5 o'clock in the morning. They open at 10 o'clock in the morning and they're open till 5 o'clock the following morning. So I did say to someone, look, you know, is it safe for a woman on her own to be out shopping in the early hours of the morning? And they said, you're absolutely safe. Nothing will happen. So I tried it. And there was no fear of getting mugged or robbed or anything. It was just such an incredible environment to be in where you had no fear. I wouldn't walk down Queen Street at 7 o'clock at night in Auckland because someone will come up to you wanting money or wanting something. But you can go and walk at 5 o'clock in the morning and any, at any time and have no fear at all. And I just thought it would have been so nice if Auckland City could be like that. What do you attribute it to? I attribute it to the law <laughs> that mm. if you break it, you'll probably never be seen again, but it works. So you attribute it to, to a regimented sort of society? Yes, it is, but there's, there's an incredible amount of freedom. And when they, you know, rebuilt the city, they really thought about how they were going to do it. And it's so friendly to the people that live there. Like, there's Wi-Fi everywhere. Wherever you go, into a mall, into a hotel, it's all free. You don't have to log in. It's just automatic. Every department store has seating by the lifts on all the floors and a water filter, so you can have a drink and sit down without have to, having to go and buy a coffee. It, it's just so nice to get around and not to have any fear of being a person on your own in a strange country, in a language that you don't speak or understand, but not have a fear of, if anything happened to me, what would I do? Because it was so safe to walk around. You've actually talked on the panel before, once before, about societies which are bent to a common purpose, as it mm. were, mm. Uh, more so than... Well, I think the civilizations of East Asia in particular, A, were very homogenous. Mm. Um, the Japanese for the Japanese, the Koreans for the Koreans, the Han Chinese for the Han Chinese. Uh, but they were also um, very patriarchal and very hierarchical, so that, you know, um, power tends to flow down in those societies and people s tend to understand where they sit mm. in the, the structure of their world and um, how they move within that world and how they rise within it and what will cause them to fall. And I think um, Denise is absolutely right. Um, you can walk in great safety in places like Seoul or Tokyo because people know that if you reach these very powerful social norms, yeah. then the state will simply pick you up and throw you away. Mm. And that's it. There were no yeah. beggars, and it was so clean. It was so clean. And at night, there were thousands and thousands of people at the markets. And I was walking around, and it was just such a delight. And I thought, wow, can't we have this at home? Well, it'll be interesting to see what happens to societies like that, like uh, when they loosen up slightly, like Singapore seems to be doing. And well, what happens? I mean, I, I would, I don't know. I mean, Singapore seems to me to be the perfect example, once again, of this. It's this, always been the perfect yes, example. Yes, I mean, mm. this wonderful sense of Chinese order. Mm. Um, and, and the kind of paternalism which, which historically is associated with the Chinese state as well. I mean, this, this kind of strange mixture of beliefs. One is that the emperor always knows best and you must give the emperor your absolute loyalty. But if the emperor ceases to serve you, then you are, have every right to replace the emperor. This is talk called as, you know, the withdrawal of the mandate of heaven. And in Chinese history, there have been some cataclysmic re revolts or invasions, and these were construed as uh, an indication that the mandate of heaven had been withdrawn from the emperor, and so the emperor deserved to fall. But once you had a new emperor, everything was back the way it was. Yeah. You choose your upsides, you choose your downsides in yeah. societies, the don't respect, you? The respect, I think, everyone had for each other, 